Hey everybody, Blaze here for Crackberry.com and today we're going to go ahead and have a closer look at Blackberry's first Android smartphone, the all new Blackberry Priv. Crackberry.com Well, here we are. After many months of rumors and speculation and ultimately confirmation, we're finally getting a look at the first Android powered smartphone from Blackberry known as Priv, which stands for privacy and privilege. When it comes to the goals with Priv, BlackBerry wanted to build a device that offers the excellent BlackBerry keyboard, a large display, excellent battery life, and brought all the well-known productivity and security features customers have come to expect from BlackBerry, coupled with specs such as the Snapdragon 808 and 3 gigabytes of RAM, plus access to the world's largest app ecosystem, the Google Play Store. Made from premium materials, the Priv highlights form and function by offering a 5.4 inch edge to edge display made with Gorilla Glass 4, which looks crisp and vibrant on the device. Despite the slim design, the Priv also offers a full QWERTY physical keyboard, 18 megapixel Schneider Kruznak certified camera on the front, and a large 3410 milliamp hour battery to keep you going. On the software front, BlackBerry has kept things mostly stock Android, with Lollipop 5.1.1 for now, but also brings over BlackBerry-specific apps such as the much-loved BlackBerry Hub, Calendar, Contacts, and covering the privacy aspect of it all, extra care has been taken at the software and hardware level to authenticate and harden the Android OS. You can keep your eye on apps with the new BlackBerry app called DTEC, and each Priv comes with a hardware injected pin which helps verify the device when loading. Plus, BlackBerry plans to be rolling out monthly Android security updates to Priv owners to address any critical issues. Having been testing the Priv for the better half of a week now, I have no problem in saying it has become my personal favorite device and is likely the device I will stick with for a while. How others will react to the Priv though remains to be seen, but at least the Priv is off to a good start.